opening day festivities wrapping up and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Milwaukee Brewers. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. All right, partner, ready to go. Always a pleasure to get things started with you on opening day. Well, happy new year, buddy. And anyone that's involved in baseball, even though it's not January 1st, this is the start of a new year. Every team has playoff hopes. I love this time of the year. I'm excited to get things going. Just about to get started and towing the slab here, Corbin Burns. What do you look for here? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. One down. Here's the second baseman, Jacob Davis. Line drive, caught. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Now it's the Brewers' turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Kyle Tucker. The old one. Bounced up the middle. Dive, and he's got it. To Adamas, that's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Acrobatic play to get this one started. Determined to get a good flip, and that flip leads to an inning-ending double play. Next for Cincinnati, Jacob Davis. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Out towards right center field, and that'll get down for a hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Hey, get on for us here. Willie Adamas stands in. Kicks and fires. Runner on the goal. The tag, and he's out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. One out, base is empty. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Jacob Davis. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, he knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Bounce to the left side. Bichette collects it. Over to first, out. two out. Up next to Cincinnati, the shortstop, really Adamus. Here's Keston Hira. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Base hit. One run is in. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers six and the Reds two. Maybe it ain't for you. You want 
Here's a big power threat. Jacob Davis. Uh, let it fly. Second baseman. Jacob Davis. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And fouled off. Nimmo at second with nobody out. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Not a bad pitch by any means. Down and away, right on the corner of the zone. Just a better swing, Boog. Stayed through it and hit it hard the other way. Here goes the runner. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. In now for the Reds, Tristan Casas. One for three. The tying run at the plate. Hit on the ground might be two. The throw to second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, Double play is kind of a rally killer. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Joey Gallo. He's already homered in this game. Left-hand hitter waits. Popped up. Bichette makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Home half of. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 6 3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Thank <laughs> you.